Good afternoon and um, welcome. Um, my name is Tim Rutherford. I'm the Deputy CEO uh, and it's a real privilege uh, to welcome you here uh, this afternoon. Uh, I hope you've had a successful day, whether you're one of our fantastic uh, teams not lucky enough to work in a school and supporting us uh, across all our schools or working uh, with our children uh, at the front end uh, today. And I just thank you for already your contribution uh, today and previously for trying to help transform lives and strengthen our communities and make the world a better place and uh, hopefully uh, this brief introductory session will give you a sense of the trust um, uh, and uh, some of the things we're working on now and some of the benefits from, from how we are we are certainly stronger together. Um, so uh, myself and a few other members of the team will introduce, introduce ourselves as we go uh, as we go through the presentation um, and I'm hoping we're going to start with the slideshow right now. So I'm hoping you can all see that slide. Uh, uh, we're an ambitious and inclusive trust of schools, uh, as I said, strengthen our communities through excellent education. Uh, and we really believe uh, in not only relentlessly positive collaboration and Siobhan, our brilliant uh, director of primary and we'll talk about that in a moment, uh, but it's about having really high standards and growing great people. And actually this year is a really, uh, really interesting year in our, in our journey. Uh, we, we, this is the 10th year of the Ted Rag Trust. Um, it's amazing having, and I feel really privileged to have been part of it when it began uh, in Ted's name uh, as a collaboration of schools who really passionately believe that if we work together, we could get a better deal for our children and our communities. And uh, it's really phenomenal that we are uh, now a, a trust made up of brilliant primary schools and Whipton Barton and Marine Academy Primary and Exwick. Um, Brilliant. Uh, all through schools, Cranbrook and the soon to open Matford Brook Academy in the southwest of Exeter, which is coming in September 2023. And I know uh, and all of us will look forward to seeing that successfully open, as well as our established and uh, great secondary schools at St. James and St. Luke's, Nisca and West Ex, QE and All Saints and Marine Academy Secondary, and particularly Lipson, who have joined us only this month. And we already know the spirit they bring, the soul they've brought. They're really part of the team and part of us a committed group uh, really doing everything we can to help children, their families and strengthening communities. That's over this year. I'm sure there'll be uh, lots of opportunities to reflect on our journey and where we where we hope we go in the future. But I just thank you now for your contribution you've already made. And we're really excited uh, and look forward to supporting you uh, in any way we can, being the very, very best you can be as we grow the, the best people uh, at every level. Siobhan, I'm going to hand over to you now just to talk a little bit more about our trust offer. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Siobhan Meredith, and I am the Director of Primary in all three for the Ted Rag Trust, but I also am the head teacher of Marine Academy Primary in Plymouth, so one of the trust schools. Um, so we have got the Ted Rag offer, and you'll see the, the outer circle there, where Tim's covered it a little bit, but it talks through that we are an ambitious trust of schools. Um, and so welcome to our ambitious trust of schools, where actually we do have the highest expectations for every child every day um, with social justice at our core and we also really believe in strengthening our communities and that's because we all serve um, different communities across Exeter and Greater Exeter and Plymouth and Cranbrook and we really want to be that hub of our communities where we invest our energy and resource to help build really optimistic and resilient communities. And the third one there that you see is excellent education. And that's because as a trust and, and each of us in our schools, we really put children at the centre of all that we do. And that and we do that by providing them with a really high quality, ambitious and knowledge rich curriculum. So to enable us to do those three things, we have got the TEDRAG offer, which you can see the six inner core parts there. And our offer then consists of um, behaviour and attendance, every child succeeds, curriculum and assessment, pedagogy and practice, business and operations and leadership. And then on our next slide, you, I will be able to share with you our key priorities for this year. So our strategy is that we are relentlessly positive in our collaboration. And we do that as well by having really high expectations um, and by growing great leaders. But for us to be relentlessly positive in our collaboration, that just means that we're stronger together. So as a group of schools, 
we can be we're stronger than some of our parts by collaborating so positively together which is why you will get various invites to a whole host of different network meetings and for us to be able to work together because that's how we all get better so our key priorities then as I just said about networks, but we've also got key priorities um, for inclusion and we really need to make sure our children are attending school every day. So we need to improve attendance and behaviour. But so social justice. So I already talked to you about that a real priority for us to ensure social justice and really considering our disadvantaged pupils and our pupils of SCND. And then we've got curricula, which is just about us further developing the common curriculum across primary and secondary and having common assessments. And if you've been in primaries this term, you would have taken part in those for the first time um, with pupils, which has been great. And our classrooms, we really need to reinvigorate them post COVID. And then finally, our final key priority is communications. And that's just for us to really ensure that we've got excellent communication across the trust. And you coming today is part of that. So thank you very much. It's lovely to see you all. And I'll just introduce myself next. Thank you, Siobhan. I'm Charlotte Davis. I'm the Trust's Director of Business and Operations. And within the Trust, we have a core team of staff providing a range of professional business and operations services that works with and alongside the staff in schools to support the delivery of the excellent education in our communities. And on this slide, you'll see with the schools at the centre, the key areas of support that we are able to provide. And this includes HR, finance, estates, marketing, IT, compliance. And working in this way across the trust, it means we can operate really efficiently and access added value expertise and a much wider range of resources so that we can really go beyond what an individual school setting is able to provide. And this means that we do build up a really strong network of shared resources and we have a number of business and operations network groups that supplement the subject and curriculum communities that are also in place. And overall, it makes the trust a really supportive and collaborative place to work. And for all of you in your new roles, a really great opportunity to be part of a much wider network than just the school in which you're based. And I'm going to hand over to Becky now to introduce a little bit more about working for the Trust. Good afternoon. I'm Becky Hargreaves and I'm the head of HR. I'd like to introduce you to our staff hub. This is an intranet site where we aim to bring staff from across all our schools together in a collaborative online community. So here you'll find the most up to date information on a diverse range of topics from staff news to training materials company policies and information about well-being. The staff hub is regularly updated to reflect the latest and most important information and things that we just want to share and shout about and celebrate. If you're based in one of our schools that are on a network, our trust network, the staff hub should be your landing page when you open up your internet browser. However, you can access the staff hub from anywhere by using the link which is included on this slide and will be forwarded around as well. Um, the login is your first name, dot surname and your password, which you normally use to log on. However, if you're external, you can also use the username of Staff Hub and password as visitor123. Alongside all our HR policies, our people directory, which is available here, provides you with information about key contacts. The IT support section provides a link to our knowledge base and will support you to uh, self-help on a number of common IT matters. However, if the answer is not there, you can email our IT help desk. Our payroll section provides you to the link to your employee self-service account where you can see your pay information and also information on our pension schemes. Our managers area provides guidance and support for our managers. And our trust meeting calendar provides information on key dates across the trust and the important meetings that we're holding. Our handbooks provide a link to our online version of the trust offer, our leadership handbook and our school improvement handbook. As a member of the trust, you will also have access to a number of staff benefits. We provide generous time off for training and development linked to your role. We have family friendly leave and compassionate leave arrangements and they're provided within our leave policies. Our teachers participate already in individual coaching programmes and we are seeking to utilise our apprenticeship levy to support our staff development. We also do leadership and management training for teachers and non-teaching professionals. 
our trust professional networks, which we've already uh, referred to, um, include curriculum, professional areas, and also areas including data, HR, marketing, health and safety. We provide dedicated time uh, to our professional support networks from our NLEs and um, learning pra uh, leading practitioners and curriculum directors. We have a lot of school improvement resources, a cycle to work scheme with opportunities for loans for up to £2,000. And we really encourage participation in our whole trust staff, staff survey because we want to hear how you're feeling and, um, and try to increase ourselves to get better and better. Although we hope your experience at work and in your personal life is positive, we also recognise that there's times when you or your family member may need a bit of additional support. So alongside a number of external support mechanisms, signposting in our wellbeing area, we also offer an employee assistance programme. This is a confidential employee benefit designed to help you deal with personal and professional problems that may be affecting your home life or work life, health or general wellbeing. Our EAP services provide a complete support network that offers ex expert advice and compassionate guidance for 20 um, and it's available 24 7. It covers a wide range of issues and we strongly believe in providing an EAP service that offers not only a reactive support when someone needs help but also pro proactive and preventative support to deliver the best outcomes for you. So with that that's the end of my uh, presentation slide and I was going to pass you back now to Tim um, if he's got uh, if you've got any questions. Thank you very much, Becky, uh, and uh, all of the team. And just uh, I hope it's given you a little bit of a flavour of Ted Rag Trust, named after an educational great who was so passionate about schools working together to make society a better place. And whilst we're, we're large and, uh, and have grown to now kind of 12,000 human beings doing everything they can to support uh, to support children, it really is about the individuals counting. And I just thank you already for the work you've done to transform lives to strengthen communities and make the world a better place. Uh, we really want and we passionately believe in treating every individual uh, to help bring the very best out of them. Uh, and we really hope that your, your journey has started positively uh, as part of our family and that, that if there's anything we can do to support, please do ask either now uh, or, or in your contacts in school or via email to the trust. And we're really happy to help.